Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scarbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is um, Saturday, January 28th, I think. Um, and the moon is in Taurus. <clears throat> The Taurus moon um, makes a square to the sun today. This is the first quarter crisis in action square. Uh, this is part of the uh, lunation cycle that began with the new moon in Aquarius. And of course, um, <clears throat> that new moon in Aquarius was conjunct Pluto. Um, <clears throat> of course, Pluto was still in the latter degrees of um, Capricorn. It's still there. It is going to move into Aquarius. Uh, on the 23rd of March and so we can feel that shift happening um, the the a shift from Capricorn to Aquarius goes from sort of um, what is traditionally seen as power uh, in Capricorn um, top-down kind of hierarchical power to um, Aquarian which is much more horizontal much more uh, uh, unstable in a way and um, uh, much more people oriented and we can sort of see hints of this um, we are this morning when I woke up um, the first thing I saw was the uh, well, not that I wanted to I just turned on the news I was like gee I wonder what's you know I don't do it usually but this morning I did and the first thing on the news was the beating of um, the poor soul and I apologize for not remembering his name I haven't had any coffee yet <laughs> um, who who died in Memphis <clears throat> uh, by the hands of uh, five policemen who have been uh, arrested um, and I think charged I think they've been charged already um, and then there was uh, the Nancy Pelosi husband video and then there was uh, what's going on in um, the Middle East with the Palestinians and the Israelis and the um, just the general sense of we're coming to a, a, um, a crossroads that we're going to have to make a decision on and uh, so it's pretty heavy duty um, of course for us personally this um, crisis in action is one based on making, um, taking the actions that will help to support our new realization uh, around issues that are Aquarian, uh, fairness, uh, equanimity, things like that. So uh, people, people are, you know, wanting to take action. Now, there's a lot, what I've noticed in the news that I just want to mention is that the news keeps talking about, um, you know, there are going to be protests around um, the Memphis situation. Um, this is also the weekend of the Holocaust Memorial uh, uh, Remembrance. And uh, that's interesting because uh, many people would consider what's going on with the Palestinians as apartheid, which you would think that uh, a group of people who had gone through a situation like the Holocaust might have more compassion for people. But I don't know. It doesn't. I don't know if it works that way. Um, and of course, it's just one. It's a government, and it's not a people that's making these decisions. It's just like saying all Americans agree with you know, what their government did in Afghanistan or in Vietnam or in, and so it's not really about people as much as it is about maybe leadership and the choices that leaders make. And of course, this is what we're dealing with now with all this uh, moving into Aquarius, where the power moves from the few to the many. Um, so we'll see we'll see what happens with that but uh it's kind of heavy for a for, for saturday morning sorry to say uh but we do have some good news today the sun is out and the sky is blue and we have another day to do what we need to do 
to make the world a more peaceful place. Peace, as with charity, begins at home. So find the peace within your own heart and spread it out like peanut butter. <laughs> I love peanut butter. Um, and share joy where you can. Um, be compassionate to others. We're all, we all have our own issues and we're all trying to, you know, make it through. <laughs> and uh, a lot depends on what you know, what you've been exposed to, uh, what you understand. And one of the important things I think at this time is to share your knowledge. Not everybody's going to want to hear it, <laughs> but, uh, and you can't force it on people, so we can't do that. Uh, but speak your truth speak you know tell people what you know uh there are many people looking for solutions and you might have a solution that they can utilize so it's about putting it out there but not being necessarily attached to whether people are gonna uh, take it whole cloth um everybody has a, everybody has free will and uh we have free will in all situations as well. So you can decide how you want to work this energy. And uh, I'm going to just do my best to stay peaceful inside and aid and comfort those uh, who need it. I think that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, and make a pot of coffee right now as soon as I get back in the house. So... <laughs> All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Like and subscribe if you would. Um, I have a new series on my Patreon, The Rising of the Feminine. I'm highlighting um, uh, women uh, who are making a difference or who have made a difference or have influenced uh, the way that we live our lives. And... Uh, so that's on Patreon for my Patreon. I have a couple of Patreons, uh, patrons that watch this in the morning. And uh, I am going to share it on YouTube as well. So you, all you guys can see the kind of stuff that I'm doing on Patreon. But um, until tomorrow, <laughs> I will see you uh, in the AM. Much love, everyone. Namaste. Pray for peace.